President Barack Obama's decision last year to triple the number of U.S. troops in Afghanistan left his own aides deeply divided, with some even doubting whether the new strategy would work. That's according to a new book by journalist Bob Woodward, the longtime Washington scribe with a reputation for getting exclusive access to the White House. In December, Obama increased the U.S. troop presence in Afghanistan, but also said those troops would start coming home next year. Woodward says Obama's top advisor on Afghanistan and his special envoy to the region believed the strategy was flawed. But according to the book, Obama told advisors he wanted an exit strategy and set a withdrawal timetable because he couldn't lose the whole Democratic Party. The White House is not disputing any of Woodward's claims and in fact says the president is accurately described as a decisive and strategic leader. Officials here say the book reveals nothing new about the president's strategy in Afghanistan, nor should it be a surprise to anyone that there was a vigorous debate about the development of that strategy. But some national security experts aren't buying the White House's spin. It would appear that the president is, um, is uh, uh, disengaged in some respects from the, the give and take and the barroom brawling, if you will, that goes on in, in crafting policy in the United States. Woodward also raises questions about the U.S. partners in Afghanistan, most notably President Hamid Karzai. Woodward says the U.S. has intelligence showing Karzai is a manic depressive and is on medication, charges Karzai's spokesman denies. Julie Pace, The Associated Press, The White House.